recruiting team. I've got Vanessa Rath with me this morning, uh, one of our sourcing coaches. Good morning. Good morning from South Africa. Yes. Yes, indeed, indeed. I'd, I'd say sunny South Africa, but it's about half and half today, and it's it's a little bit of reprieve because it's been super hot. Oh, we 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 can't wait for the super hot again. We'll get there one day, people. <laughs> Usually, it is one day actually in the year. It's like yeah, get it's summer. <laughs> Super hot. Well, this is our short course week. So this is where you get to see an insight into the short courses in the gym. And this is Vanessa short course, developing your online brand to build trust. Now, we, we have looked at this before. We looked at, well, what does personal branding mean? So we thought yes. we'd dive into one of the other topics. Let me just sort of show people down the left hand side here, all of the elements of the course so what can we do to ensure that we have an attractive online brand, defining your personal online brand? You can see here five sessions, six sessions, another five sessions on growth hacking um, and where should you start your growth hack journey? But this isn't a phrase that I hear a lot of. So growth hacking then, Vanessa, what, okay. what, what are you about? Let me, let me explain by giving you examples. Okay. okay. So, Angela, do you remember when Dropbox arrived on all of our horizons and they said, if you go and invite people, we're going to give you an extra 500 megabytes of storage? Do you remember oh, that? Okay. Yeah, I do. That was a growth hack because Dropbox didn't have to pay anything for their marketing, right? Because mm -hmm. we did their marketing for them. Let's think of another one. Um Hotmail. Hotmail was actually quite late to the party when it came to email. Um, so what they did was the bottom of every email, whether you wanted it there or not, it was PS, um, I love you, get your free email at Hotmail. So every email I don't remember that, that one. They, they were saying, oh, yeah. I love you. Yeah, 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 exactly. On every single email. So even if you were resigning from your job, <laughs> you know, that's what was there. So that was another growth hack because that people clicking on that link in itself resulted in 12 million users in 18 months. So a new one, a newer one to give to you. Um, Clubhouse. Do you remember how big Clubhouse was during COVID? I do have a Clubhouse. Uh, um, Here we go. There we go. So room, is it, is it a room, yeah, a pause without the men. So where women, women get to talk about uh, menopause. And we were, we were doing a session every week. We've got Alan Clark to thank for the name, uh, a pause without the men. But you're right, it was sort yeah. of manic for a little while. What's happened to Clubhouse? Exactly. So Clubhouse was actually a growth hack because what they did was, remember that you could only get it if you had an Apple device. Yeah. So it was like oh a scarcity God. hack. The same as Facebook. So Facebook launched and it was only for the first year was only for people that were um, studying at Harvard University because that's where Mark Zuckerberg and his mates were. So that was everyone was talking about it. It was amazing. So when they launched, it wasn't actually a soft launch. It was everyone knew about it. Everyone had been dying to get onto the platform. And that is literally growth hacking. It's, it's clever marketing. And the reason why I talk about growth hacking in this very course is because you can growth hack your personal brand and it's something that i do it's something that you do so you are growth hacking your personal brand angela by the posts you know that we are putting out on on linkedin and you know we're feeding a community you're running the daily workout because what you're doing is this is a growth hack to bring more people to the gym and to buy our training and coaching services you're so, right you're right so i mean free and easy marketing <laughs> so it, it takes it takes time, but you're right. Free, free and easy marketing, and that's what social media has brought to us, isn't it? I saw a post yesterday on Threads again, another one that uh, everyone wanted to get onto um, and were excited excited about. And I do go back there every now and again. Um, but Mark Zuckerberg had posted sort of how it started, how it's going, <laughs> and well, him. The in the university with, with the first Facebook sitting there. And the, the thing that hadn't changed, he had loads of fizzy drinks and empty drinks bottles <laughs> on his desk when he okay. was like 20 and he still got them next to him. <laughs> Maybe it's a secret to success. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Wow, Maybe. okay. Good so, so Threads was also another another like growth hack because you know we um it, it was linked to your Instagram. So you wanted to sign up because anyone who had an Instagram account immediately went into to Threads. So I mean I think the uptake was they got their first ChatGPT took five days to get a hit a million users. 
Mm. I think something like three, it, it took like an hour mm. or something along those lines. It was. Yeah, they, they were hitting up million 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 within a few days. Yeah, yeah. So, so yeah, so growth hacking is just, it's something that we all do. We don't always know that we're doing it. That's why the term is so interesting. Like you say, you've heard of it, you've seen it. Um, but what exactly is it? And a lot of us do it, but we don't know that we're growth hacking. Yeah, I mean, I, I, w- I wouldn't have seen that as a term. But uh, so so as an individual, then, what would you say is some of the more successful ways to, to grow? So my most successful growth hacking example, you must go and Google this. It's on YouTube. It's called um, the Million Dollar Shave Club. And it was by a guy who um, started selling razors from home. So he, you would pay a dollar a month and then he would deliver them straight to your um, to your door. Eventually, it was bought by a billion for a billion US dollars from a Gillette um, Unilever, and because it was doing so well. But the reason why this guy selling razor blades did so well is the video that you can find on YouTube went viral. So when that when that video went viral, it really started pushing his razor blades, and then he started becoming like real competition. So they literally bought it and then squashed it. You know, that that literally, you know, was how it works. That was my favorite example. But your question was, how do we kind of use it from a recruiting kind of perspective? So you get something called a growth hacking recruiter. So a growth hacking recruiter is is really someone who takes the time to analyze traffic and where they're getting things from. So, for example, if you go back in your last six months of hires, where um where did you get the highest number of candidates? Like, had they seen a post that you had done? How can you replicate that post? Was it maybe a job advert? Um, you know, asking people. A, a lot of being a successful growth hacker is replicating growth hacks that have worked really well in the past. So you've got to question people. Um, it's like I always say to my clients, you know, I encourage you to survey your candidates as they go through your recruitment process. Like, what did you do that was different? What did you do that they enjoyed? What could you be doing better at? You know, those kind of things. Because if you don't ask, you don't know. (coughs) And that's linked to the whole growth hacking side of things is that you figure out what is really working. You do those better. And what isn't working, you fix. Now, apologies. I haven't done done this before because um, I forgot Charlotte's on holiday. So I've forgotten about LinkedIn. (laughs) People, I'll put my hands up there. But Jerry Smith's saying, oh, this is going to be a good one. Um, Let's attend. And he's uh, tagged some other people. Joe Phillips saying, love this. Uh, Donovan was reiterating what you were saying there, that ChatGPT was also like that uh, with the beta. I have found the link to the um, original Dollar Shave Club commercial, but there's actually a video before that. So I will put that in. Um, LinkedIn as soon as I can, but there's a video yeah. saying why it worked. So they've done a follow up one. Um, Good. With, with the Brilliant. Everything. So oh, he's uh, a famous example. He, he now stands on stage and delivers keynotes about growth hacking and you know marketing tricks and those kind of things. Um, so another example is you know you and I, Angela, we talk about it. We we have this engagement pod that we post on LinkedIn and then we share it and we get people in our you know in our pod to comment and that commenting helps the algorithm in LinkedIn. And um, there's actually, that is a growth hack because that is called a growth pod. So those of us that are together, we're in a growth pod and we help each other out by growth hacking the algorithm. Yeah, I must admit, we ch- we changed it to the, the LinkedIn support group because it grew so much from that with everyone helping each other. And actually, yeah. it's become a little bit of a counselling group as well, isn't it? Because yeah. when people Very entertaining work, at work, times. We're, we're having tough times and we've all gone through it at some point in the last year. Yeah. Uh, there's been some lovely support in there as well. And that's what I love about those communities when you get together. Mm. Yeah, you might come together for one reason, but then there's a lot of other support going in there as well. Um, so, yeah, great. fabulous. Really fabulous. I've got that um, onto LinkedIn. So if you are over on LinkedIn, uh, yeah, give us a shout, give us a wave yeah. as well. Okay, so one thing that people can go away and do today then, what's like a daily workout that they can actually put into practice today, Vanessa? So they could actually just do a bit of analysis. So I encourage you to go to your LinkedIn profile, go to your last couple of posts and go and look and see over the last, let's go with 90 days and go and see which one performed the best and then take today and replicate that post. 
So really just use it to see, okay, why, why did they perform well? What did I give, you know, was it something that I gave away for free? Was it sending someone to an event? I need to actually do more of those posts because by doing that, you're growth hacking your brand. You're helping your brand, your, your brand to grow. Um, yeah, show us yours. Show your, that, your last that's my thought. Day. Let's do it. I'm, I'm not sure what's going to come up, but uh, we'll show people how to do it uh, from there. So I'm on my posts. How do I find what was most successful in the last 90 days? Okay, go, go back. Go back to your news feed. I'll show you how to do it. Let me just verify it over here on my side. So go back to your profile. Yeah. profile. Yes, okay. You see that number underneath the block? No, 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 not on your profile. Go, go oh. back to with this post impressions on the left and that block under your name. I've only got followers. Okay, where's your post impressions? That's quite That's interesting. Good. Okay, click then on your profile. We can We can do it from there. That's what that's why I got a bit confused. I was like, where is it? <laughs> yeah, okay. Now go to um your activity and go if you see um post here. Show all show it, it shows all of your posts. I mean, this is a very manual way of doing it. This is quite strange because I don't do it this way, I do it the other way around. And um, there must be a way that we can see your analytics. Let me go back. This is why we do this, because other people will be like, they'll go to it and see their post and they go, well, where do I find that? <laughs> Just as I do. Now, this is a free account. Maybe that's the difference. Maybe. I'd, I also have a free account, but I've got creator mode on. So if yeah, you look you on do. your own profile, do you have like an analytics piece? Let's go, so go back. back to your profile. My profile. And a... let's see what's more, coming it's up. It's more like a below your about section. Okay, look well, at analytics. Section. I just saw it there. Look. Show, show all analytics. Analytics. Click on okay. the top left-hand block where it says your post impressions. There we go. So past Click 90 days. And then go to the top and change it to 90 days. There, there we, we go. go. There we go. We found it for you, people. Okay. So something's gone now on you here. Can see, so now scroll down. What was your top post there? How many impressions? Oh, it says top performing post. There we ah, go. Ah, it's, it, it's us in Ahmedabad. Um, and oh, this, this, yes. So this was a wedding happening outside our hotel. Um, I don't know how it's not really work related, is it? I know, I know. That's interesting, isn't it? Because how many impressions did that one get? If you go back, that one got eight thousand. Go, go back a step. Okay. So uh, yeah, and how many comments? But you know what you'll start noticing if you go back, you'll notice that a lot of your post impressions that get the most likes are actually the more personal posts, or that you in the post. So go back a step. So just push the back button, or you are yeah. in the post. And that's that's what really stands out for me. Like my top three posts, like my top post got 31 and a half thousand impressions, was, um, it was uh, um, one about walking on the beach ah. and talking about a candidate who had got in touch with me saying that, um, asking me for advice like 10 years later. Yeah. Yeah, that's amazing. So, isn't it? so then you can look at all of your stats and you can see. Okay, um, well, we've just had another meeting with this awesome. company that we were in with India, and I've got a couple of um, testimonials from them. So that makes sense. Uh, I'll uh, I'll get back to that <laughs> this yeah. week. So thank you for that. Yeah, uh, for that yeah. insight. Uh, so and, yeah, and that was a growth hack. That was a growth hacking activity where we went to go and see what worked really well. What what is your audience responding to and now we're done. Pick that one instead. Fantastic. Okay, we're all doing that today then. So I'll post tomorrow. We'll be linked to that in some way, shape or form. Brilliant. Thank you, Vanessa. The link is in the um, in the chat here for the course. Let me just make sure that I put it into LinkedIn as well. I've managed to get all of those in. It's been a long time since I've had to do both at the same time. <laughs> What happens when Charlotte goes on leave? What's that all about? No, it's her anniversary, so uh, she's got she's got a five days well, anniversary. And she's got a nice five day block, so I uh, hope she's enjoying herself. Lovely, thank you, no. Vanessa. Uh, thank I'll be you. Back see you next week. next week. Yes, next next week we've got LinkedIn update week. Mm -hmm. um, so you'll be there, Catherine. Be there. We've got Rohit from Pager on Monday, kicking it all off. He always has some great stats and information about what's going on with LinkedIn. And then the week after that, what's happening the week after that? It's podcast week. So I'm going to be doing a takeover and I'm going to be talking about the best podcasts out there that you can be following in our space. So looking forward to that. I've already, I've just got to confirm one more guest and otherwise we sort it.
Fantastic. So yeah, yeah, we're proudly sponsored by Firefish here on the Daily Workout and they'll be talking about their podcast during that week, I'm sure. Wonderful. Thanks everyone. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.